welcome to today's fall inspired look. It is autumn out while I'm filming this and the leaves in my area turn are starting to turn so I just felt like creating a very fall, autumn, whatever you call it in your area look and so here it is. If you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So I started out by putting a white eyeliner, well it's actually a cream eyeshadow, all over my eyelids and then blended it in with my finger and I am actually far more gentle than it appears <laughs> when I'm doing that. And then taking a blending out, well not blending out, just my general crease shade. Um, this is from the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I put that in the crease just to start things off. And then I went in with a skin colored shade also from Too Faced and blended out that harsh edge. A matte yellow, the one I used here, is from Coastal Scents. And I patted this all over the movable lid up to the crease. Going in with Espionage, Cos Espionage Cosmetics Area of Effect on a smudger brush to begin with. I put that on the lower lash line. And then I took the brush that came with the palette, which is this adorable little thing that's called Bind When a that, that says Binds When Equipped. And I applied it to my outer V. And then I used a pencil brush because these shadows work best with a dense brush to apply it to my crease. Using the same pencil brush, I went in with Line of Sight from the same palette. It is a shimmery white, and I put that on the inner tear duct. I lined my lower lash line with a nude colored eyeliner pencil. Waterline, excuse me, not lash line. And then I did a very thin line to start with with just a basic brown eyeliner. It does end up thicker than, you know, you start with. Then I went off and did my face off camera. Couldn't decide between two blushes and ended up going with Spice by um, Shea Moisture. I curled my eyelashes, applied NYX's La Chick Flick Mascara, Lined and filled in my lips with a red lip liner. This one is from NYX. Put on a red lipstick. This is Arasabeth from Urban Decay. It was part of their Alice in Wonderland collection or Alice Through the Looking Glass, I think. And that's it. That's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time. Bye!